hey what's going on guys in today's video i want to show you how you can react pretty much any effect uh with your audio track inside of venture resolve so for this to work we will need to install reactor it's a package manager for fusion and resolve and uh, pretty much contains all the third party plugins uh, just open up davinci resolve um as you can see i've already loaded the audio file that i'll be using for this tutorial so make sure that the audio that you're using is in dot wav format otherwise it will not work let's drag this onto the timeline in the effects library i'm going to search for fusion composition drag that to the timeline as well match the length and let's go to the fusion tab and install a reactor so installation is pretty simple all you have to do is just find the file that you just downloaded drag this onto the flow window and now it's going to ask you to uh, whether you want to install it on a custom path or just simply install it and launch it so just like the second option install a launch and then it will you know start downloading some packages from the internet and once it does that it will open up reactor uh, so i'm going to access it by going to fusion script reactor and open reactor so once it opens up this is the uh, user interface of a uh, fusion reactor um, so we'll just uh, search for suckless audio and as you can see i have already installed it uh, the install button is grayed out but for you it's it will be clickable so just click on install and once you install it you just have to restart uh, davinci resolve uh, once you restart it you just have to then simply you know drag in anything that you want to animate so for example we will animate the text so let's just view this text over here type in your text and make adjustments to your text and i would like to i would like to animate the go to the layout tab and i would like to animate the center z so we can just animate this according to our audio track to animate it just right click on that property modify with and you'll see the i have this option audio wav click on that and now at the top you'll see the modifiers tab i just click on that browse for the location of your audio file so i'm going to load the same audio file then you can just mess around with different settings over here i've done this before so i just use the unsigned median and i just um, you know increase the amplitude scale a bit and then you can just uh, make sure you connect this to the media out go back to edit tab so as you can see that it is working perfectly so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one